This is the first Neumann microphone I ever owned, the TLM 102. Coming in at the entry level price of $700, the miniature size of this microphone and its bright tonal qualities leave most home studio owners wondering whether or not it's better to save a bit more and settle for this, the TLM 103. A microphone known for offering quality sound at the highest standard, especially in a bedroom studio setting. Many don't look further than the 103 because of this, but after testing and comparing the rest of the TLM range, the 103 might not be what you're really looking for. As a singer-songwriter, owning a Neumann has always been a dream of mine, and Neumann's TLM series was designed to give artists and producers a more affordable take on their true classics. Whether you are focused on the tonal qualities or the features or which one's best value for money, there's definitely a TLM out there for you. Starting off with the entry-level TLM 102. At $850, this microphone is offered in three different colors, including a metal shot shock mount. You can get one without a shock mount for a bit cheaper. It does not come with a case, which at $800 is a bit surprising, but luckily you can get a wooden case on Amazon for around $60. Moving on to the TLM 103, at $1,200 you're offered a microphone with a capsule similar to the U87. It's not a U87 at all, but it does sound really good. The 103 includes a wooden case and a few more accessories if you choose to go with a more expensive anniversary edition. Now we've covered the popular TLM mics. These next three TLM microphones are in my opinion a standalone from the previous two. Starting with the 107, including roll off, attenuation and five different polar pattern options. Price wise between the 103 anniversary edition and the 107, you have to decide whether versatility is something you're rather looking for. Next we've got one of my favorite vocal mics microphones, the TLM 49. At $1700, this microphone doesn't offer much versatility or a wooden case, but with an included shock mount, this microphone gives you the classic K47 capsule and a sound design orientated toward that of the M49 and the U47. If you're recording pop or rap vocals, this microphone might be one to keep your eye on. And the final microphone we're going to have a look at is the two and a half thousand dollar TLM 67. Shout out to Mr. Neumann himself. The 67 is a contemporary design of the classic U67 offering the same K67 capsule with TLM 49 circuitry. On the back you have optional roll off and attenuation and on the front you can decide between three polar options. If you're looking to record more than just vocals, the TLM 67 can do it all. Now I mainly record vocals and the main reason you buy a microphone is for how it sounds. The only way to really see what these TLA microphones are all about is by sound test comparison. Oh, I'm a mess right now. Inside out. Going through a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. I can't work it out. Out. Going through the motions Going through us And oh, I've known it for the longest time And all of my hopes and all of my words Are all overridden on the sign With your in my road Walking me home, home Burn so bright, I wanna feel your love. No, is it, baby? Maybe I'm a liar. But for tonight, I wanna feel your love. Go put your faith in my stomach now. Through 
sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Going through a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Going through a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Going through a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Going through a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. They burn so bright, I wanna feel your love. They burn so bright, I wanna feel your love. They burn so bright, I wanna feel your love. They burn so bright, I wanna feel your love. They burn so bright, I wanna feel your love. Now, after having a listen to that comparison and playing it back a few times, I think out of these five, two really make sense. The 102 sounds really crispy, but the lack of low end makes me want to rather save up the extra $300 and get the TLM 103 instead. The 107 is definitely the best value for money option, but for the price, it might be better to go with an AKG C414. The TLM 49 is a standout vocal microphone for the price. It is a tough call to pay that extra $500 compared to something like the 103. I guess it just shows why so many people settle for this. And then lastly, the TLM67. This microphone really surprised me. I tried to compare this mic more to my U87 because I think for most, it's a decision between these two instead. The 67 sounds very neutral, but compared to the U87, and even the TLM 103, it doesn't have the same presence. But that's what makes it a great microphone for both vocal and instrument recordings. If I had to pick one of these for my vocal specifically, for the price, it's hard not to go with the 103. But I think this TLM 49 would keep me up at night.